Hey everyone, today I'm going to review for you set number 40178, the VIP exclusive Lego store. Now this is not a poly bag that many people can get. They usually, it's supposed to be a VIP exclusive and it's only for VIPs. But for some reason, they've been handing it out to random customers. But I'm not sure, but for what I know, it's a VIP exclusive set. But when I was buying Lego Movie 2 sets, I think two weeks back, they were handing this set out for free. So, you know, I got one as well. So it's pretty cool. I haven't gotten this one before. I think when the promotion was going, I didn't really get one. I'm not sure when the promotion was exactly. I think it was two years or three years back. But for the set that it is, it's not. it basically doesn't come in the basic poly bag packaging. It comes in a bigger, more uh, better packaging actually with the whole print of the VIP logo over here and just the whole art of the whole Lego store. And you've just got a few of the stuff of the set. And you've got the classic shiny version of the VIP minifigure. So you get, two, it's basically a store, a section of a store with a pick brick wall and a bunch of sets on the side. So it basically just looks like an, a Lego store, which is really awesome the way they capture the design. And along with that, you get a VIP card, which is cool. They It's brick built and you get the normal, not non-shiny monochrome minifigure as, as the I for the VIP logo and I it just looks like a card which is awesome because without these pieces the it, they wouldn't be able to achieve a card type of form so it literally looks like a card which is awesome obviously they can't curve these pieces but it would look a lot better that way but the way that they designed it is awesome the V is also perfect I feel like they there could have been another piece to make the V a lot more better because compared to the P, it just looks kind of weird, but that, I don't think they can fix that. Because if they put the curved pieces over here, then it would be a U instead. So I think this is the best they could come up with. Obviously no printing whatsoever, but it's just on a red pedestal or just a place to sit on. So nothing special about the minifigure, but you can basically make that out of any um, pieces. If you just find these pieces all red, then yeah, you can obviously build him. And the store itself, if you just take off the minifigure, uh, you get the pick a brick wall, which uh, is really awesome how they did it. Uh, they put a, a transparent one by one round tile, and then behind that, they put a stud for different colors to represent the different pieces that you can get from the pick a brick wall. But, and you've also got a sticker over here, it says pick and build. And then on this side, you get all the sets. These are all stickers, by the way. I really wish they were all printed, but that's not the case here. Uh, you get the Ghostbusters Firehouse set. I'm not really sure what the other sets are. I mean, it looks like the red one is like a Marvel set. It kind of looks like. And the other ones, I'm not sure. I think they're all City. I think this is a Ninjago. That's pretty clear. And yeah, the other ones are City. Um, I think that's the hot dog cart because the whole tile is purple. Uh, that's a Lego Friends set. I think maybe that one's a Duplo set. And that one's obviously a City set. And this one's a Creator set. So I think I got all the themes right um for based on the detailing but yeah and then you've got this piece over here the cash register piece which comes on a one by two slope brick and this keeps falling out for some reason so i'll just take that off and this is basically the counter and i don't know why i don't know what this is actually because i've been to lego stores obviously i would know but i don't know what the significance of these coffee mugs are i just don't know maybe uh, those are supposed to represent the accessories that you can get like just a uh, normal like a coffee mug um, Like an actual coffee mug to drink out of I don't know if that's what they're going for But there's also another coffee mug over here, which is uh, kind of weird because there's also a stud over here I just don't know what this area is, but usually I Would think that this area of the store is basically where all like the random pieces and random minifigures are But I don't know why a cup would be there. That's all I'm wondering and then the last one is on a side clip, you get just a standard 2x4 brick. And then over here, you get a dragon. So the mouth can move, but if you just put it any lower than that, it just looks kind of weird. So just keep it all the way up like that to make it look better. And obviously on the back is no detailing because it's supposed to just be for fun. And they, I think these are wings. And then there's the rest of the dragon. And this keeps falling on me for some reason. And there's the tail continuing through the store, which is awesome. And I am going to actually try one thing. I have the exclusive keychain, I think I got from the Valentine's Day thing. But if you replace it with the shinier one, it actually looks a lot better and looks a lot cooler. And yeah, it just looks really awesome now that I look at it for the first time. And I really wish they would have had, because if it, this is 
a VIP exclusive set, but they're still giving it out for stores. I feel like they could have actually made it monochrome and, uh, and they could have given the minifigure, the monochrome shiny minifigure without the keychain. That would have been really cool. But I guess this is fine as just a keychain because I'm never going to really use it. And it'll probably be, I won't, I usually don't even put the keychain on a key in the first place because it's very shiny and like all the printing or the shininess could be worn off is what I'm trying to say. And then you put this over here and yeah, it's a cool little set. And yeah, there's one little, one last thing, which is the minifigure. You get his bag of Lego, which he's carrying. And the store employee is not too special, actually. I think we've gotten him in the past. Uh, but still pretty cool. The uniform is there. I wish it would have included a name, but this printing would have been way too small. And then on the back is the official Lego logo. And you got the same hairpiece that we've seen um, a lot. So it's not, it's a very common hairpiece. No printing, no uh, double face printing, and no leg printing whatsoever. But the torso printing is also really cool. Obviously, you've got the Lego, print Lego logo on the back. And you can either keep him just standing over here. Or you can make him just hold his bag. Or maybe this bag is, bag of Lego is not meant for him. It's probably meant for the customer. So he's probably just packing it. But yeah. Small little set. It's really cool. I mean, it's for free. They basically give it for free. There's no like purchase um, thing, purchase necessary. But yeah. Just wanted to do a quick little video. But yeah. Other than that, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.